Hello everyone, Jeff the Green Review here. I'm doing some pruning on my fruit trees. This is late winter, early spring, and this is a great time of year to be doing fruit trees uh, pruning and shade tree pruning. Insects are not around at this time of year, and most disease spores are not around either. Now I know some people would like to paint the ends of these cuts uh, with a pruning paint of some sort. But pruning paint, tar, house paint, varnish, and other materials have been used to cover up pruning cuts in the past, and they do not protect the tree and should not be used. In fact, they can seal in moisture that allows decay organisms to grow freely, hidden from view. Tree wounds can be created from pruning, injuries, storm damage, and other causes, and these openings in the bark are attractive to a variety of insects that may bring along disease spores. If a disease-prone tree must be pruned or has storm damage during the prime time for disease dispersal, there could be a benefit to protecting the wound with an insecticide and a fungicide application, but not with any kind of a paint or tar. Research has shown that the commonly used tree paints and wound dressings do not inhibit decay, they do not prevent insect deliver entry, and they do not bring about faster wound closure. In fact, many of the commonly used paints slow wound closure, closure and so don't paint your trees. Like I said, if you have to use something, use a fungicide and an insecticide. And this is Jeff for the Green Review. Thanks for watching.